It is my pleasure to welcome you to this event, which is a good way to begin the year in which NHF celebrates its 20th anniversary. We're indeed very happy that the NHF is expanding benefits for the support and for the treatment and management of non-communicable diseases through our individual benefits program. This is an important and worthwhile investment, not only for individuals enrolled on the NHF program, but for Jamaica in general and for the overall healthcare of the population. The NHF Individual Benefits Program provides subsidies for medication for 17 chronic diseases with a current average subsidy rate of 43%, double subsidy for children, and a basket of drugs for 10 conditions for persons over 60 years of age. Today, NHF is recognized by stakeholders as valuable, efficient and effective, and we continue to work to be one of the top public bodies in the country. It's our 20th anniversary, and the NHF promises to bring better, healthier, and services to the country in supplementing the Ministry of Health and Wellness in that drive. The board of the NHF is pleased to be able to approve the benefit that the minister announced recently and the benefits that will be redound to the citizens of Jamaica. If you look at the history of the NHF, and they are now in their 20th year, you have heard that, the NHF has evolved, changed substantially from where it started. Uh, it was an excellent concept because there was a need for uh, a kind of benefits package for those who needed it but couldn't afford it, public health of course, uh, or health care. But over time, the health profile of the population has evolved also. And the NHF has had to adapt and adjust to ensure that those needs continue to be met and that as an organization, it stays relevant. The anniversary, here we will see, and we are seeing now, the added benefits that have been added, which is symbolic of the evolution of the agency and responsiveness, subsidy increases and, and new drugs, addition of prostate-specific antigen test for the NHF card program. If you're an NHF card member, men can now go and get, uh, based on the doctor's advice, your prostate check. Now, the new benefits will address, among other things, subsidies of treatment of eight conditions, hypertension, including um, heart disease, vascular disease, diabetes, psychosis, glaucoma, sickle cell, and epilepsy. And uh, this will, again, benefit a, a substantial portion of, of members on the, on the NHF card. Uh, the, the new drugs that will be added including for treatment arthritis, benign prosthetic hyperplasmia, breast cancer, hypertension, and, and heart disease. And there's an estimated cost under the JADI program, some 21,000 persons will benefit of some 42.59 million per annum. This is of course for persons over, over 60, 60 years old. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming and for listening and for recognizing and celebrating with us the achievements of the National Health Fund. Thanks to the team for the role that they have played. And like I said, this year, the 20th anniversary is a year to review, to reflect, to reform, to refocus. And I think that is quite appropriate. And the NHF is well within its capacities to achieve that ultimately for the benefit of the Jamaica. Thank you.